as you can see I have a raincoat on but this is amateur night and um, what I'm going to do is change out uh, my thermostat for my Mazda 626 it's a V6 and what I'm doing I'm changing it out I'm changing it out it's a rainy day so you see I made me a makeshift rain jacket and nobody seems to show the Mazda 626 uh, thermostat and so what I'm doing right now I'm going to show the thermostat and I'm going to take it apart I already begin to take stuff apart and I'll let you see what I'm doing here's the engine I, I'm beginning to take was exhaust manifold part you see as I kind of rigged it up I'm going to replace all this eventually but what I did I had to disconnect a lot of the sensors from the exhaust manifold and I'm finna take that apart and then I'm, what I'm gonna do is get down in here because down in this section past your uh, ignition or electric ignition is under here is is it actually where they say that the uh, thermostat is at so we're about to see and I'm just gonna share this on YouTube and um, I'm a writer, really not a mechanic, but I think it's something important because I was looking all over this to see where the Mazda 626 and this is 1999. And I was looking all over the place to see where where is this at? You know, where is this, this thermostat at? So let's see. Yeah, I'm going to pull it apart. As you can see, we're on the, this side of the car, which is your driver's side of the car. And this passenger side. You, see where you got your reserve and all of that and your, your cap and on that end is where you find your water pump and all that and that's they we're not worried about that we're not going to mess with that but we're worried about the thermostat and once again it's a Mazda 626 1999 this is going to be informative to you because I was looking all over the place for where the thermostat is at this is a foreign car so everything is dealt with millimeters I've been dealing with between 11 millimeter and a 12 millimeter and I'm about to take this off right now as you can see and pulling off the exhaust manifold and I use a 10 millimeter to pull out these bolts down here for this sensor and the other sensors just kind of pry and connect you use a little screwdriver kind of wiggle them out it's not that hard um in a second we will see out and <laughs> in a second we'll see what this thermostat look like and where it's sitting at. After pulling out the as you can see, I, I have one wire holding an exhaust manifold, uh, manifold together. But here, after all this work, and they, some stuff they were talking about another video to take apart, I wouldn't suggest taking it apart. But I'm looking at this last little gadget here, or gadget, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my thing is simply to show you where it's at and you can see I'm working my way over there I'm dealing with this camera but your thermostat sits down right in here this is the thermostat and I'm gonna have to remove this so I can have clear access to it I'm not gonna remove my automatic ignition switch or whatever they may call it but here's your thermostat I found it and it's under all of this stuff you have to move that and this is the Mazda 626 I'm gonna pull it out in a second and I'll let you guys see what it looks like after I get it out see that is where your thermostat is at I'm working around all of this stuff here it is not as easy as I'm, I'm looking at I'm, I'm waiting to see how this is gonna all turn out Mazda 626. I had two bolts that sit on that hose right there. If you can see it, with the hose sitting up under there, that hose had two bolts that was holding it. And I found them under there. But here it is. I got the thermostat out. And look. I got it out, and as you can very well see, I put it back together since then. But your thermostat sits down in this location here it's under all this stuff that I, I just put put back I suggest a fail safe a fail safe in case this thermostat go thermostat go out again uh, it won't 
clog up your system. It's not an easy fix because after all the digging you have to do. So this is my suggestion. I suggest get a fail safe so if anything happens to it, it'll keep the water will keep flowing through your engine or cooling through your engine. I hope this has been informative to you. Um, now you know what your thermostat is for your Mazda 626 1999.